if a polynomial is divided by x minus a let's see whether the remainder is coming out to be p of a or not okay let's see suppose the polynomial is 2x cube plus 3x square plus 6 and if you go on and divide it with x plus 2 so i'll just put 2x square here this will give me 2x cube this will come with it 4x square and if i subtract them minus minus this will be 0 3 minus 4 is minus x square plus 6 then i will go on and do minus x this is minus x square my 2 into minus 2x i will add it outside okay fine and this will be giving me will be 0 it will be plus so 2x plus 6 i will end up with 2 2x 4 and subtracting will give me remainder is plus 2 okay this is by the normal method if we just divide we get the remainder this is the remainder 2 but remainder theorem gives it a shortcut right what can we do we can just find p of a so what is a here we put x plus 2 is equal to x minus a and you can see very well that a is equal to minus 2 okay so this is how you will get a once you found a you have to find p of a that should be the remainder this is the remainder theorem okay so let's see whether it's working or not put minus 2 so you just need to find the value of the polynomial where x is equal to minus 2 or a and that should give you the remainder let's see what happens this is the polynomial 2 into x cube minus 2 cube plus 3 into x square minus 2 square plus 6 so this is 2 into minus 8 this is 3 into 4 plus 6 this gives me minus 16 this is plus 12 this is 6 12 plus 6 is 18 minus 16 is 2 so you can see both of them are same so this is a rather fast way by using remainder theorem you can easily find out the remainder in two three lines by just putting the value of a in place of the polynomial whereas in a long division you take a lot of time to divide and find the remainder actually this is the remainder right but there is one difference in long division you get the quotient but here the quotient is absent so in questions where it is asking you just to find the remainder or question based on remainder theorem you can use this but in questions where it is asking you to find the quotient or use long division to do something you have to do with the long method but both of them will result in the same remainder nonetheless okay that's all